morning. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Come be a part of the program if you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you have questions about our true skin health products, longevity products, formulations, ingredients, the longevity business, 844-236-6010 is our number if we left you on hold yesterday. Tell our call screener and we'll get you first up at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order longevity products right off the website, including our Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Healthy Star Pack, Ultimate Nightly Essence, Ultimate Selenium, Fucoid Z, all the fine longevity products are up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, and ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, get your products at the wholesale price, make some money, earn the tax benefits associated with having your own business, make your own hours, work out of the home, quit your day job. Call 866-735-2470. I've been a longevity distributor now for 20 years. I can't tell you how many people I've seen benefit from the longevity products. Hundreds, if not thousands of people. I've seen with my own eyes, blood pressure dropping, weight loss, skin improving, people getting off all their medication. 866-735-2470 is the number if you are interested in joining the Brightside Ben team. Also would like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and Truth Balm, all at truthtreatments.com. If you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, if you want beautiful skin, if you want healthy skin, if you've got acne blemishes, if you have accelerated aging, you don't want to be using typical skincare products because you're not going to get very much benefit. And you can look at your medicine cabinet, if you're like most people, and see all the products that you bought over the years just sitting there. Our True Skin Health products are just made with active and functional ingredients, and that's why you get results quickly. And the results accrue over time. They get better and better over time as the nutrients are loaded into your skin. That's one of the neat things about vitamin C and vitamin A. Not only do they penetrate through the stratum corneum, through the surface of the skin, into the lower layers, but they're stored. The active materials are actually stored in the skin. So if you once you get going with the products, if you miss a day or two, you won't notice. You'll notice. It, uh, you won't notice a, a decrease in the benefits. The the results build up over time. You get better and better results over time. You can check out all our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. All right. Welcome back to the bright side. We've been talking about plant nutrients, phytonutrients, as they're called. Whenever you hear the word or the prefix phyto at the beginning of a word, as in phytoestrogen or phytosterols or phytonutrient, you're hearing the designation for plant. Phyto means plant. 
plant or phytonutrients are many times defensive molecules. They're produced as a mechanism of protection. The plant wants to protect itself, and these are protective molecules. They protect the plant from, uh, from damage, from bruising, from breaking, from being bitten into by an animal or by us, for that matter. That's one of the reasons, by the way, why it's a good idea to break your aloe plant or crush your garlic up before you use it. When you break your aloe plant or crush your garlic up before you use it, the defensive molecules react with the oxygen and you get more potent medicine, basically. Chefs know this when they're working with garlic. You always want to break up your garlic before you cook with it or before you use it. Now, not all plant defensive chemicals are nutritional, certainly, as in the case of gluten, which is a very notorious plant defensive chemical that is not nutritional by any means, but many of what we call the phytonutrients are defensive molecules. And in fact, it's their defensive role that makes them so valuable to us. In the same way that they defend the plant, they defend us. They provide protection for us. They protect us from sun damage. They protect the plant from sun damage. Many of these molecules that we consider to be nutritional, many of these phytonutrients protect the plant from the sun, particularly the pigments, which we're going to talk about here next week. And they'll also protect us from sun damage. When we eat these molecules, they literally go into our skin. They go through our digestive tract, they go into our blood, and they get deposited in the skin where they protect us from the sun, from the ultraviolet rays of the sun, the same way they protect the plant. They protect us from wounds internally. They protect us from toxicity. This is what makes them so valuable for healing. They have a stimulating effect on our own natural compounds. They protect us from uh, ultraviolet radiation when we use them topically as well as internally. According to an article published in the March 2010 edition of the journal Archives of Dermatological Research, polyphenols may, quote, favorably supplement sunscreen protection, and it may be useful for skin diseases associated with solar, uh, solar radiation-induced inflammation, oxidative stress, and DNA damage, unquote. I used to put green tea in my uh, moisturizing spray. I had a really neat moisturizing spray that I was selling with my old company, the company that I just sold. I sold a couple years ago. Uh, we used to recommend green tea. In the, in the product. Green tea is one of the all-time great topical supplements for sun protection because of its polyphenol content. Polyphenols can also be protective against the toxic effects of sugar. That's what gives them anti-diabetic properties. It can also be protective against other food chemicals, environmental poisons, including arsenic, carbon monoxide, according to an article in the uh, July 2016 edition of the journal Molecular Neurobiology, polyphenols can even be protective against mercury, which is one of the most toxic and dangerous of all environmental pollutants. All of this is to say, folks, eat your veggies every day, and to a lesser extent, fruits, especially if you're dealing with some kind of health challenge. The protective effect of these phytonutrients, plant nutrients, particularly the polyphenols, of course, extends to one of the most famous of the polyphenols, resveratrol, the multifunctional plant molecule that provides benefits for folks dealing with heart disease, blood pressure problems, blood clotting issues, cancer, brain health issues, among other health challenges. According to USDA scientist and horticulturist James McGee, Resveratrol is produced by grapes in response to bacterial and fungal infections, and their levels are the highest when they're the most infected. The sicker the plant is, the more resveratrol it makes. And this way, resveratrol is almost like uh, uh, the plant's version of human immune system molecules. Resveratrol is thought to be, at least by some researchers, responsible for the so-called French paradox. The French paradox is this idea that in France, everyone's eating fatty foods and brie cheese and lots of butter and lots of lard, and they're eating lots of meat, other dairy products, they're smoking lots of unfiltered cigarettes. The French have a reputation for being a nation of smokers. Smoking rates have declined in most of Europe and France, at least according to a European Commission study. This was in 2012. The number of people describing themselves as smokers grew by 4%. And despite all of this, the French have far lower heart disease rates than we do here in the U.S. of A. And the French, however, drink a lot of wine. And this may account for the paradoxical so-called phenomenon, the French paradox, because of the resveratrol contained in the grapes. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. On 
The Bright Side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time and 24-7 at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. We've got six years of archives up with lots of great health information. If you miss a program, you want to review a program or direct a client or friend or patient or loved one to a specific topic, there's a search engine at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. Also, uh, have an archive at brightsideben.com. And you can purchase Longevity products at brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. And also want to remind you to check out brightsidehealth.com. We have lots of cool health products. Uh, I vetted them all. They all work, including our Pure Hemp Botanical CBD Regular strength and extra strength if you're dealing with anxiety issues or chronic pain issues. CBD is tremendously effective. And I'm not supposed to say anything about cancer because the medical model owns cancer. You can't say anything about cancer, but there's lots of great literature to support the use of CBD for dealing with some of the symptoms of cancer. Get on the Internet and look it up yourself. CBD and cancer. Google it. That's brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. Okay, we've got lines open here at 844-236-6010. Got lots of lines open, actually, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or the Truth Skin Health products, if you have a success story or you just want to contribute to the conversation, I love hearing from you guys. I love my smart, bright side listeners, and come on, come be part of the program. 844-236-6010 is our number. So, resveratrol. A lot of researchers believe resveratrol may be responsible for the so-called French paradox, where the French smoke lots of cigarettes, eat lots of dairy and fat, and uh, they still have far lower heart disease rates than in here than here in the United States. You don't have to, of course, drink wine or grape juice to get your resveratrol. This uh, this really multifunctional, very powerful nutrient has been found in over 70 different species of plants, mostly in the skins and the seeds, which makes perfect sense because it's the skin that requires the most protection along with the seed. The skin is what is exposed to the environment, and the skin, the skin is always going to have the most medicine. The skin is where the medicine is. You don't want to peel your apples or peel your cucumbers before you eat them. I see so many people doing that and then just eating the sugary part in the middle. The good stuff is in the skin, and the medicine is also in the seeds. Nature does not want its seeds being eaten, so lots of defensive chemicals are in seeds. And that's why you'll find resveratrol, not just in seeds, but in legumes, peanuts, and soy, especially peanuts and soy, and also pistachios, nuts, are good sources of resveratrol. These are seeds at the end of the day, and these seeds like all seeds, need to be protected by nature. Thus, you will find resveratrol. Same with cocoa. The cocoa bean is a good source of resveratrol. Berries are a good source of resveratrol. Bilberries and cranberries and blueberries. Resveratrol is anti-cancer. It's antioxidant. It protects DNA. They say it's anti-mutagenic, which means it, chain, it protects DNA from changes that are associated with the sun and other toxins. Resveratrol is like a natural form of Celebrex. Celebrex is a COX-2 inhibitor. That's what pharmacists and doctors call it. It inhibits the enzyme COX-2, which is responsible for inflammation. Well, resveratrol is a natural COX-2 inhibitor, certainly not as potent as Celebrex, but it has the same mechanism. It also turns on what are called phase 2 enzymes in the liver. These are natural detoxification enzymes in the liver. That means that resveratrol... As a great supplement for anybody who's smoking cigarettes, phase two enzymes help detoxify to uh, poisons that are found in cigarettes. Resveratrol is a great supplement for anybody on drugs, prescription drugs or otherwise. And uh, resveratrol is also a great supplement if you're drinking a lot of alcohol, which may be another reason for the French paradox, by the way. Yesterday, we talked about a weed that contains some of the highest amounts of resveratrol found in the entire botanical kingdom, the Japanese knotweed. The Japanese knotweed is a particularly malicious and pervasive botanical pest that can take over vast amounts of space on hillsides and gardens. The Japanese knotweed, as aggressive as it may be, as nasty as it may be, is also a great source of resveratrol. In fact, most supplemental resveratrol comes from the Japanese knotweed. It's a lot cheaper to get it from a weed than it is from, a, from grapes. The Japanese knotweed is super hardy, super strong, and it may be that it's the resveratrol content that makes it so hardy. In Japan, the Japanese enjoy a very 
uh, popular beverage called Itadori tea, I-T-A-D-O-R-I. That's the uh, Japanese name for Japanese knotweed. Japanese knotweed tea or Itadori tea is used in Japan as a, uh, and in all of Asia actually, as a treatment for the prevention of heart disease. And on top of that, the Japanese knotweed is actually pretty darn tasty. It has a flavor similar to rhubarb. You can actually substitute it for rhubarb in rhubarb pie or other recipes, and you can blend it with other fruits, bananas and oranges. I throw in some clove and ginger and honey, maybe some butter and coconut oil. It makes a delicious uh, a fruit crumble if you crumble almonds on top of it. And most especially, it's got medicinal and healing properties. According to the Journal of Agricultural Food Chemistry, quote, for people who do not consume alcohol, Itadori tea may be a suitable substitute for red wine, unquote. You get that on the internet, Itadori tea. Get all over. In fact, I think Walmart actually carries Itadori tea. I know it's on their website, walmart.com, but uh, you can go to Walmart and get your knotweed tea. I think you can. You can certainly can get it off Amazon.com. You don't want to do too much Itadori tea. It will actually act as laxative. A lot of medicinal compounds uh, act as laxatives. But that also means that it may be useful for folks who are dealing with chronic constipation. Just sip on a little Itadori tea. If you have heart disease, you want to prevent heart disease, and you're dealing with constipation issues, sipping on some Itadori tea, not, Japanese knotweed tea, can be a way of taking care of both problems. And, by the way, Japanese knotweed tea is not just a good source of resveratrol. It's also a good source of vitamin A, which is also, which vitamin A is very important for heart health. It's also a source of vitamin C, which is, is important for cardiovascular health. A lot of folks believe, a lot of uh, scientists believe, including Dr. Matthias Rath, that heart disease is really the symptom of vitamin C deficiency. And I can see why he says that. Remember, the connective tissue involvement with the heart is very underappreciated. Heart disease is in many ways a connective tissue problem. And you can't make connective tissue without vitamin C. So sipping on your knotweed tea can not only help you with your heart, it can also help you with your, <coughs> excuse me, your connective tissue. There's also electrolytes in knotweed tea. Potassium is found in knotweed tea. You'll find other minerals, phosphorus, zinc, and zinc is one of the all-time great underappreciated minerals. Many people are deficient in zinc, especially if you're having uh, not just a heart problem, but especially if you're having a skin problem. And there's also manganese in knotweed tea, and manganese is another very underappreciated mineral. Manganese is very important for the detoxification system. So sip on your knotweed tea. Make sure you're getting your resveratrol. Make sure you're getting your plant nutrients, and you'll find that your health will probably very likely benefit. I want to talk about uh, third class. We talked about the lignans. That was our first class of uh, polyphenols. The second class are the still beans. Resver resveratrol is the most important of the still beans. The third class is one that's been used in the world of skincare for a long time, and it's called the phenolic acids, and it's found in great abundance. Probably the, the phenolic acids and the flavonoids, those are the last two of the polyphenols that we're going to talk about. The, the uh, polyphenols and the, and the phenolic acids, they're very, I'm sorry, the, uh, the uh, flavonoids and the phenolic acids are very, very, very common, and they're kind of similar. We're going to talk about these two together. They're the most abundant of all the polyphenols, and there are all kinds of reasons to use these things, especially for the skin. We'll talk about that in our next Bright Side episode. We'll hit, your, we'll hit the phones, get your phone calls here in our next segment. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here momentarily. If you want to check out our longevity products, please go to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got blog posts and news stories at all websites, all our three websites. And you can call the uh, Brightside Ben phone team also, if you like, 866-735-2470. If you want to talk to a real live person, ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team. Love to have you on my team. For one time, $25 fee, you can start a business, and I can help you build your business. We can do three-way phone calls. We can help grow your business with presentations. The longevity, the longevity company in general is about helping you. That's one of the neat things about longevity is longevity is interested in helping you, not just in terms of your health, but also in terms of helping you build your business. They've got all kinds of tips and uh, seminars and webinars and phone calls, phone, phone meetings they do. And I personally can help you build your business. I'm going to be in Toronto doing just that for my good friend Goddess Jill and Mike. 
if you're listening out there, Mike, we'll be in Toronto uh, the 21st through the 27th, helping build businesses. So if you're interested in uh, building a business, starting a business, quitting your day job, making a little spare change, helping change the world with nutrition and nutritional supplementation, call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team. Okay, our number today, 844-236-6010. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you in just a moment. A couple stories I want you to read here. This is from, uh, this is from St. John's College, high fat, high sugar diet during pregnancy programs for health complications. Eating a high fat and high sugar diet when pregnant leads to metabolic impairments in both the mother and her unborn child, which may program both of them the mother and the unborn child for future health complications, researchers have shown. This is so important. Later on, next week, we're going to probably talk about the importance of paying attention to your insulin levels if you are pregnant. If your insulin levels are high, your baby will suffer. This is not just true about sugar. It's also true about high-fat diets. You've got to be very, very careful. Now, when I, they, these guys studied fat, they didn't necessarily study the good fats. They were studying trans fats and, and processed fats. But nonetheless, you've got to be really careful with what you're putting in your system when you are eating for two. And you really want to make sure you're on a nutritional supplement program when you're pregnant. Omega-3 fatty acids can be very helpful for pregnant women and their babies. Vitamin E can be very helpful for pregnant women and their babies. All the B vitamins, everyone knows about the B vitamin folic acid, but all the B vitamins can be very important. Making sure you're getting enough protein, making sure you're getting enough bone soup. Remember, you're building something in there. You're building a baby. So building nutrients like protein and zinc and vitamin A, not to mention iodine and omega-3 fatty acids are all all very, very important for pregnant women who are building a human being in their womb. From the Endocrine Society's 99th annual meeting in Orlando, Florida, prolonged sleep disturbance can lead to lower bone formation. This is very important. We regenerate when we sleep. If you are insom have insomnia, if you're an insomniac, or you're waking up in the middle of the night, you can't fall back asleep. This is not just this is not just inconvenient and unpleasant. It's also it also can have long-term negative effects on your health, especially on building things, especially when it comes to uh, building protein. When it comes to uh, building proteinaceous substances, or structures in the body like bone. Insufficient sleep, a common problem that has been linked to chronic disease risk, may also be an unrecognized risk factor for bone loss. And this may be one of the reasons why elderly, why the elderly typically, many times anyway, are dealing with osteoporosis as well as problems with sleep. Use melatonin, deep breathing techniques, activate the parasympathetic nervous system before you go to bed with a hot bath, foot massage if you have a spouse that you're sleeping with, have a, uh, get some, rub each other's feet. Rubbing your feet is a great way to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. There's lots of parasympathetic nerves located in the bottoms of your feet. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Robert in Las Vegas. Good morning, Robert. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, pharmacist Ben. Thanks for taking my call. Really appreciate it. Sure, what's um, going on, man? Before I get to anything else, got to say a big thank you for your obscene knowledge of nutrition and the human body and anatomy. And uh, thank you, you are just about fearless in your position on planet Earth. So, oh man, anyway. I appreciate that, Robert. Thank you for the kind words. That's awesome. What a way to start the weekend. So, uh, tell me, uh, Farmers Ben, how do uh, young people, children, how can they possibly be born? with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. How does that moms. even happen? Moms. You know, when the mom's impact, the mom has tremendous impact on how the baby develops. Cortisol. Just, just give you one example. When a mom is under stress, the baby is under stress. When a mom's cortisol goes up, the baby's cortisol goes up. So you got a baby that is basically hypercortisol and is going to start to manifest all the symptoms of cortisol, including immune suppression. A baby's a fetus has an immune system just like we do. So if, and this is just one example. There's lots of ways you can, there's lots of things you can uh, point to. I'll give you a couple more here in a second. But say mom's under stress, right? 
This is terrible oh. when moms are under stress. I'm talking about horrible things that, you know, single moms that have to work and, or moms in a bad relationship or, or just, you know, the stresses of day-to-day -day life. The, the mom's cortisol levels go up. So do baby's cortisol levels go up. Cortisol suppresses the immune system. So baby is now going to be dealing with immune responses and immune diseases. Blood sugar is another issue. And we're going to talk about this next week. Mom's insulin levels are extremely important to pay attention to. And by the way, doctors don't ever check for or rarely check for insulin levels. They check for blood glucose levels, but not for insulin levels. And insulin itself can be toxic at high levels. So if mom's insulin is through the roof or, if, or, or conversely, if mom is not making enough insulin, this can also affect the baby. If mom is nutritionally deficient, that's going to affect the baby. So you got it. The mom, if, if mom's having a digestive issue, that's going to affect the baby. And you know what else? Recent literature has pointed to the fact that not only is baby affected by mom, but generations down the road can be affected. So when a mom is doing something that's messing up her body and it's affecting the baby, it can affect grandbabies and great grandbabies. So mothers have a tremendously important role to play when they're developing a baby. And having a baby is not something to take lightly. I, I, you know, I know that makes, obviously everybody knows that, but so many people go into, into growing a baby, into conceiving a baby without really paying attention to what's really happening. You've got to completely change how you live your life, not only after you have the baby, but while you're making the baby. And that, that's why babies are born that way. And that's why babies, you know, I think, I haven't seen any studies to show this, but it makes sense. This is why little kids can get, have, you know, get horrible diseases, including cancer, because of how their body is being built. And I don't mean to beat up on anybody. I'm just saying that. Uh, I'm saying that is good news. It means we can build strong babies. Listen to Mozart. You know, listen to relaxing music, practice deep breathing Ooh. techniques, activate the parasympathetic nervous system as much as you can. And if you're, you know, if you can talk to your spouse about this, the spouse, the, the father should be helping the mom activate the parasympathetic nervous system as much as possible while she's growing a baby. All right. Does that help, Robert? Yeah. All right. Anything else? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move uh, on. Those things reversible, I assume. Yes, everything is reversible in the body. Now, uh, genetic changes, and by the way, we, we always say there's no real genetic diseases per se, but there are uh, genetic defects that can occur in the womb. In other words, the genes need nutrition, and the genes need a pristine environment, and the genes need to be sugar-free as much as the body does, as much as the other, cell, other parts of the cell do. So if mom is nutritionally deficient and a gene gets damaged in the womb, that can, that's a permanent problem that isn't going to be changed, and that's where genetic disease arise from. All right, I'm going to let you go, Robert. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for the kind words. Appreciate it. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back on the Bright Side right after this. Okay, we're back on the Bright Side. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. Let's go to California and say good morning to Molly. How you doing, Molly? Welcome to the Bright Side. Yes, thank you. Good morning. Thank you for your education. Sure. What's going on? I have a granddaughter at 18 years old, uh, quite tall, almost probably six feet, quite tall and heavy. She was diagnosed with acalculus cystitis. Say that with, again, ma'am. I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. Uh, I heard uh, the cystitis part. Uh, let, me, let me spell the first thing. Okay. A C A L C U L O U S. Cystitis. Plus intraluminous slush and fat liver. She's got a gallbladder problem. She, yes, she's got a gallbladder issue and a liver issue. She said she's overweight? Yes. Okay. Yes. How's her menstrual cycles? Probably regular, a little painful. Okay, so she here's the deal. Uh, one of the most important and, and underappreciated aspects of gallbladder disease, which affects, by the way, some 30 million Americans, gall, gallstones affect, I think, 10 or 12% of the population. Uh, she's very young to have this problem, so that tells me that she's been... Uh, She's had some issues all her life. More than likely, she's had problems with her digestive system all her life. Gallstones and gallbladder disease need to be regarded as a combination of estrogen and food. And there's a very important relationship.
relationship, as you know, if you listen to this program, you don't hear about anybody else talking about it. They should be between estrogen problems and digestive problems. Estrogen has got some serious downside to it. It's a very important hormone, obviously. The body makes, you know, the body doesn't make poisons. Estrogen is functional. However, it has to be cleared out quickly. And when it's not cleared out quickly, excess toxic forms of estrogens can build up, and this can be related to problems with the gallbladder and gallstones. If she has liver issues, almost guaranteed that she's got an estrogen issue. She probably has digestive issues as well. And as we say on this program, all roads lead to the digestive system. Probiotics are especially important. Was she... Uh, not that it matters at this point, but just for, for my information, for uh, just so I know, was she breastfed? Uh, yes, she was. Uh-huh. Okay. Was, does mom have any issues? Does mom have any digestive issues? Is this um, your daughter? I'm so allergic to gluten. Uh, okay, and there you also go. this child was beaten by a, by a tick uh, w- with was a this Lyme sh- disease. About four years old, and okay. actually had palsy in her little face. Uh, okay. Maybe too many antibiotics. We don't know, but uh, uh, okay. All of this, history. all of this, almost guarantees that mom has a digestive problem that got passed on to daughter. Uh, yes, so, she so, has. Yes, she okay, has. so here's what you need to do. We got to get to the root of the digestive problems right away. At mm-hmm. 18 years old, that means her body is breaking down far too quickly. She's probably also got PCOS issues, uh, insulin issues, a whole bunch of stuff going on. But you got to start mm-hmm. somewhere. Where you want to start off with is with a food diary, and before mm. that even, if you can get her to do a Swero V cleanse. She's probably not going to want to fast, but a Swero V cleanse should be easy for her to do. Would Call you Jeff. I will. Please. I'm going to give you a phone Swero. number. Oh, Swero, yes. I know that in Spanish. Yes, Swero. Espanol, Swero V. You know, Swero. it's Spanish. Oh, lindo. Yes, gracias. There you go. Call 866-735-2470. Tell them you want the Swero V. You want your daughter or your granddaughter to do half a bottle of Swero Swear OV every hour for two or three days. She shouldn't eat anything else. She's going to feel better, by the way, when she stops eating. She's probably bloated all the time. She's probably gassy all the time. The poor girl's probably miserable. So yes, she's, she's going to so. feel... Would you just give me the phone number again? 867-735-2470. Yes. Yes, this poor kid. This is miserable, and and she's on the road to horrible things. You got to nip this in the bud now. I beg you, you got to nip this in the bud now. Does that mean she has stones or just little bitty stones? I can't tell you the answer to that, but she's on the way to big stones, and I can tell you that. She's on the way to big problems. Don't let them take her gallbladder. Do not let them take her gallbladder. Once she has, God forbid, cancer, don't let them take the gallbladder. They love taking this thing out. If they tell you you don't need it, find a, don't find another doctor. Run out of that doctor's office if they tell you, oh, she can live just fine. I got a, a tragic letter today from a gal who had her gallbladder removed and now has been dealing with chronic diarrhea for two straight years. Two yes, straight I, years. I in that. I, I do read nutrition and I hear your program. Every day you are incredible. Thank I you. But there's more. Man, let me... Personally. I don't oh, know where you're going to be. I'm moving to Greensville, Idaho, and I don't know if I can hear you there. You can, and lucky, and lucky you. Idaho is gorgeous. I wish, you know, I've, I've thought about moving to Idaho. But and let me finish, Molly, because i got a lot, a lot of stuff I want to tell you, okay? Yes. So swear OV cleanse, and then when yes. she starts eating again, you want her doing an elimination diet and writing everything down. She's got to be a journalist. She's got to be a, a medical detective. Write yes. every food she eats and how she feels, and then she needs to eliminate those foods. That's called the elimination diet and a food diary, and it follows a swear OV cleanse. So that's the first step. The next thing is get her on fermented food as much as possible. Sauerkraut, fermented veggies, not yogurt, fermented veggies. You know, I'm sure you know what those are. Are you, are you Spanish? Yes, yes, okay. I am, and I'm, I'm learning it to make them myself. Okay, so make your own. I don't know what, what they do in Mexico or in Spain, what kind of uh, fermented foods, but all indigenous cultures have their own fermented vegetables. But you can make your own. You get a I'm starter pack. Japanese. Can, I'm making the Japanese, and, and I don't know what to name it. Okay, don't worry kimchi about it. Just or kimchi or kimchi. Or something like that. Kimchi. Kimchi is great. Yes, kimchi, Anything, yes. Any fermented veggies and have her enjoying vegetable juices. Mixing acid vegetables with alkaline vegetables 
vegetables makes juices very delicious. So you take tomatoes and you mix them with, with celery and you mix them with cucumber. The blend of tomato, as long as she can do tomatoes, some people can't, but if she can do tomatoes, mix them with celery and cucumber. There's a combination of acid and alkaline that goes together very well and have her put lots of spices in, the, uh, in her vegetable juices. So it's delicious for her. Lots of salt, Celtic sea salt and Tony Chachery's, which is one of my all-time favorite spices and pepper and just have her go crazy with the spices. Get her to do it herself. If you can get a Vitamix, that would be very helpful as well. Thank you. Get her on the Nightly Essence from Longevity and get her on the Fucoid Z from Longevity and then have her do the, the, the entire Healthy Start Pack. Now, later on, you're going to want to start to work with her blood sugar because that's probably thrown off at this point as well. But I don't want to bombard you with too many things. On the Healthy Start Pack, have her sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Have her do nine ultimate EFAs a day and two capsules of the Osteo FX a day. And then have her do nine capsules of the Fucoid Z every day. Now, this is not 100% comprehensive. There's many more things you're going to want to do, including lecithin after meals, ultimate mm -hmm. enzyme. How much? Lecithin granules, maybe a tablespoon or, or a tablespoon or a couple teaspoons at least of lecithin granules after her meals. The yeah, ultimate I enzymes know. after her meals, and go or with her meals, apple cider vinegar with her meals, and yeah. then go to the health food store and get her pancreatin enzymes. One of the okay. very interesting things that happens when the gallbladder is messed up is the, the pancreas gets messed up because the pancreas depends on the gallbladder. So yeah. once the gallbladder is messed up, all the organs, all the digestive organs downstream will not work as effectively and she won't be digesting her food. So getting her on pancreatin can also help. I, I'm, there's so many more things to do. I don't want to bombard you, but that's a, that's a great start. Why don't you do this, ma'am? If you get a chance, send an email to ben at ksco.com with your phone number, and then you and I can work together, or, or the three of us, you and I and your granddaughter can work together. Again, because, your side, please. I'm sorry. I'm not too fast. No Can't worries. See? Ben, that's my name, B-E-N, Ben yes, I at ksco.com but you got to put your phone number in there because I get so many darn emails it's just impossible for me to respond to everybody but, uh, via so email. You are very kind offering the site and offering to work with people individually thank you, yes. thank you so much God bless you. Incredibly helpful and I had in my mind more or less this program but affirmed by you I just see it clearly oh, and is that all beautiful. you want to talk to me? Praise I'm, God, I'm, I got tons more to say but, for other people and uh, I yeah. just want to Thank you so, so, so much. God bless you, Molly. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. All right, Truth Raider, you get the last word. What's going on, Carl? Do I have Carl here? Carl, the Truth Raider? Got to go quickly, there Carl. Go. There you go. Hey. Hello, Ben. Yes, we've had a hurricane, so I'm calling on, your, on, my, I'm calling on my cell phone, so I don't know if you can hear me very well. I hear you great. Anyway, What's I going on? Yeah, so I'm, I'm in the dark. Anyway, uh, salsa, and what I wanted to get to the point of, of the matter is, in the tomatoes itself, can we find resveratrol, and how healthy is it is eating salsa, cayenne peppers, etc.? Oh my uh, God, what's so the good for you. Of all of that? Cooked, cooked tomatoes and processed tomatoes, as it turns out, has more lycopene than regular tomatoes. The lycopene gets released in the cooking process. So salsa doesn't have necessarily resveratrol, but it's got some really great nutrients, and the spices in salsa are great. Try to make your own, though. Get a Cuisinart or some kind of food processor. Grind up the tomatoes yourself. That's heat them up yourself. There you go. You make your yeah. own salsa. Thanks, Carl. Have a beautiful That's day, good. man. Good to talk to you, brother. All right. That is all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening, friends. Please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, oils, silicon, propylene, glycol, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. If you want healthy, beautiful skin, head to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.